Hello and welcome to Rate That Character, a series where a member of the Source Gaming team gives their opinion on a character's chances at being playable in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We lay out the pros and cons for each character and give a final score out of 100. Please do remember that these are our own individual opinions and do not reflect Sakurai, Nintendo, or even the thoughts of Source Game as a whole. With that out of the way, my name is Push Dustin, and let's see who today's character is. Henshin Agogo, baby! Uh, sorry, wrong game. Today we'll be looking at Captain Rainbow. Captain Rainbow is the star of the Japanese exclusive Captain Rainbow game. Ironically, this forgotten game includes a lot of forgotten Nintendo All-Stars such as Lip, Birdo, and Infantry from Famicom Wars. Recently, at Bit Summit, I got the chance to interview the creator of this game, Kenichi Nishi, about his experience working with Nintendo. That interview is up on source-gaming.com right now, so after this video is finished, please go ahead and check that out. Captain Rainbow the Game is in a lot of ways the spiritual successor to Skip's Giftpedia. Nick is able to transform into the yo-yo slinger superhero Captain Rainbow. However, when his TV show starts to become unpopular, he decides to travel to Mimin Island. Mimin Island is rumored to be a magical place where people can have their dreams realized. Joining him on this journey are a variety of minor Nintendo characters, and a dildo. But let's go over the pros and cons of this superhero and see if his wish will come true. As far as pros goes, there isn't much. The game is fully owned by Nintendo, so if Sakurai wanted to use Captain Rainbow or any of its content, there wouldn't be any issues. Also, Captain Rainbow has had some representation in Smash. The game has gotten multiple trophies, and in the recent Smash for Wii U, Captain Rainbow's Asate Kimi o Naru was featured as a song for Lil Max Punch Out stage. I believe the English title for that is Tomorrow's Passion. But there are a lot of cons, and the cons weigh a lot. Captain Rainbow is a very niche game. Had it only released in Japan, the game has no recognition for most of the world. Most Western fans will know it for the wackier side of the game, such as featuring a sex toy and Nintendo characters, but few Westerners have even played this game. Just like the forgotten Nintendo characters the game features, Captain Rainbow is also largely forgotten. I guess it's a uh, God's divine will. With such a cult status, Captain Rainbow's best shot is getting it as a assist trophy. If Sakurai had reservations about Takamaru being a full playable character in Smash due to Westerners not knowing who he is, Captain Rainbow also has a very low chance. I'm sorry Nick, but maybe your dream will come true someday later. Thank you for watching today's Rate That Character. If you like this video, then give us a like and share it with your friends. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on today's character, and give us a suggestion for a future character you'd like us to rate. I want to thank all of our patrons, in particular our super patron, the Duke of Dorks. A link to his channel can be found below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date, and always remember to return to the source.